Welcome back to TVC News. Back in Ondo State, Governor Rotimi Akiridolu has laid the foundation stone of a new governor's lodge, saying the project, when completed, belongs to the state. And the governor also inaugurated the newly constructed Government House Mosque, which is the first since the state was created in 1976. Ayodeji Muradi, your reports. It is an epoch making event for Governor Rotimi Akedolu, who is set to build another governor's lodge. It was a well attended event by notable indigents of the state, including traditional rulers and top government officials. The Secretary to the State Government, Ola Duniodu, opened the floor with her speech, justifying the need to have a new governor's lodge. Having examined the challenges, non availability of a defeating governor's lodge have posed to this present administration. This is therefore a great milestone and most importantly a demonstration of Mr. Governor's commitment to urban development in our sunshine state. Governor Kedodu said building a new governor's lodge is not strength to governance in the state. He said the structural defect in the one built in 2017 gave way for the construction of a new one. We had one before. That was so many years back. We never had any other one. Reference to last administration and that a governor's law was built, it is totally wrong. No governor's law was built by the last administration. The last administration converted an office for governor's law. From there, he proceeded to inaugurate the first of his kind mosque in the government house. The mosque is one of the projects lined up to mark Governor Akredolu's 100 days of his second term in office. Let me urge a Muslim woman to continue to play for Allah's intervention in the rising insecurity and other issues bedeviling our dear country. We are facing challenges. I have decided to give this mosque a name. And it's written there, Alaydi Khalid Khalid Mosque. Other projects have been lined up to mark the milestone of the present administration in Ondo State. Ayodeji Moradeyo, TVC News, Akure.